The way that George was able to keep composed while Logan bashed his beliefs shows just how emotionally intelligent he really is. It was painful watching Logan be so incredibly insensitive and irresponsible after thinking he's genuinely matured in any facet. Props to Mike for mediating this mess and George for staying composed. These were just a couple of the top comments on December 13th's episode of Impulsive. We saw a side to Logan Paul that just wasn't pretty and one which we didn't expect given how much he appears to have matured over recent years. The way he spoke to George was brutal and it seems like things just keep getting worse and worse for George on the podcast. With Logan being the main host and star of the show, the guests that come on typically look in his direction throughout, rarely engaging with George as they speak. This makes Mike's job easier because by default, some of the attention is also on him, but it causes problems for George. There are some episodes where he hardly says anything, almost biding his time to land a good joke, and when he shoots, it almost feels out of place because he's been quiet for so long. Listen, man, I, I read the Bible a lot when they talk about David and Goliath. I've never seen a giant, and so like I've li I'm literally just, I'm a little taken. You've been sitting over here for 30 minutes and that's all you can freaking say? <laughs> Me. Now he's not gonna say That's shit. a question. Jeez. This is made worse by the fact that Logan doesn't show him the same level of respect he shows Mike. So when George does speak, he's often cut off by Logan, who wants to say something first. Explain that you're gonna how you're gonna make money drinking water. Yeah. Right. When, yeah. You know, no, professionally. It, it, it's like before you go, George, I just want to say I, yeah. well, he, and that's he, different. Even even I'm sorry to interrupt, George. No, just, the guy in the world. George, can you just don't die in the cell. Just let the men talk. Okay, I'm sorry. The setup of the podcast just isn't right for George. And from one look at a similar popular podcast, you can see why. The Flagrant podcast is hosted by Andrew Schultz. And while they normally have four hosts, there are times where they have three and the way they do it works much better. Andrew sits on his own on one side of the guest and the other two supporting hosts sit on the other side. This creates a more balanced dynamic where Schultz can lead the conversation, but the other two hosts can still command attention because they have the numbers advantage. In the case of Impulsive, if Logan sat on his own, and Mike sat with George, they'd be able to create a similar setup. The problem is, Mike's standard spot is next to Logan and it's clear that he's Logan's right-hand man, so it doesn't seem likely that they'll change the arrangements. But if they did, it would take the pressure off George to say something funny to stay involved. Where things took a turn for the worst was during an episode in November 2022 with Bobby Lee, a stand-up comedian who's known for his brutal sense of humor. The podcast started off well and everyone was getting along, but as it went on, Bobby slowly started facing away from George more and more. About an hour in, Mike acknowledged this, saying that he knows George's seat is a tough one to sit in if you want to ask questions, so he passed it over to him. But this is where George made a big mistake that set the wheels in motion for what came next. For two years of my life recently was the hardest years of my life. I gained 40 pounds of weight. Honestly, if I was not Christian, I'd probably be suicidal. And it was really, really bad. I never told anybody about it. I just couldn't understand why I got everything that I've ever prayed for, but yet I was so unbelievably depressed. This was maybe the most George had ever opened up on the podcast, but he really chose the wrong time and audience. Bobby took this as an opportunity to pounce, and you could see from that point on, George was completely deflated. It was just a long monologue. He was just waiting. He was just... I was, and let me just say something. I loved what you were saying. It was just very long. <laughs> yeah, we just need writers to edit that down. <laughs> He tried to play it off by roasting Bobby back, but he fell flat on his face. Usually when I do my comedy, I don't have writers in the room. I actually write my own stuff. Okay, I could tell. I but um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should get a writer. But my point is... <laughs> Oh, fuck, George. Probably one of my favorite episodes. The first half, the chemistry was great. Second half, poor George got a bit awkward, but Bobby riffing on the guys honestly had me laughing start to finish. I feel bad for George as I understand what it's like to talk about deep issues that are personal and meaningful, but there is a time and a place for it, and a combo with a comedian who uses his trauma for brutal comedy isn't really the time or place to get upset over the conversation not staying on a personal, heavy subject. What was interesting to see was the way Mike handled the situation compared to Logan. Mike showed compassion passion for George and tried to help him out, but Logan was making fun of him. You could easily argue that Logan's job is to look after his guest and keep the podcast moving, not indulge George's emotions, and that's true. But while that argument could stand for this episode, Logan's lack of empathy would really start to show in future episodes. Following the reception George got after his monologue, he retreated into his shell and eventually Logan said something that was the final straw. He is clocked out. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know, I know. George has been under a tremendous me, amount of abuse. No, no, George, 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 George. No, no, stop, George, I want you over here with me. George, George, George. George, I want you over here and chase him down. Go, you find him. George, no, go get him. Go get him. There was a big fallout following the episode with some people empathizing with George and others thinking that what he did was completely unprofessional. In the next episode, George apologized and admitted that walking out was the wrong thing to do. But it turns out that despite Logan telling him to apologize to Bobby, he didn't. And this all came out when Logan appeared on an episode of Bobby's podcast, Tiger Belly. 
Never came back. Never. Let me tell you something. Yeah. He apologized on the episode of Impulsive that's coming out tomorrow. He was. He was. He was. That's interesting. He was, re- was regretting. Never really apologized to me, though. Which that's interesting. shocks me because I told him to reach out. I said, you should reach out to Bobby. Bobby insisted on FaceTiming George right there and then. I want to apologize for my behavior <laughs> on your podcast. I feel like Bobby I was a Lee, little... Bobby Lee, you shut your mouth. I'm apologizing to you. I left you. You were our guest. Well, I'm going to... I'm so sorry. Thank you. Please don't Thank you for saying that. To me. But I want to pull back my apology then. <laughs> On the same impulsive episode that George apologized for walking out on Bobby, he also confessed to feeling like he's not doing well on the podcast anymore. The impulsive crew have said themselves that their YouTube comments are the best indicator of audience sentiment, and in recent times there's been a noticeable shift. In the past, George was the golden cast member that seemed to be loved by everyone, while Mike was the one that got almost all the hate in the comments. People felt George struck the perfect balance between comedy and seriousness, while also being kind and respectful to guests. They felt he filled the role of the third host perfectly. On the other hand, many felt Mike was extremely self-centered and immature, constantly calling him out for not letting guests finish their sentences or going on and on about his old drug habits. But in recent times, George hasn't been getting as much love as he used to, and while most of the comments about him are still positive, now there are a lot of people saying that he seems uncomfortable, doesn't say much, or outright just isn't funny. Some have even said the podcast would be better off with just Logan and Mike. On the opposite side of the spectrum, viewers seem to love Mike now. He's often referred to as the heart of the podcast, and I think there's a lot of truth in that. His interviewing skills have seriously leveled up and he seems to connect with guests in a way that George and Logan don't. There are these songs that culturally within that tight-knit festival and club community especially people are like yo this is a fucking banger that never sees that cultural success. Which of the two do you prefer? So so this is a really good question. I've been Uh, saving it for 36 seconds. (laughs) (laughs) This is in part due to him being older and having a lot more common ground with the guests they have on, but it's also because he's really good at steering the conversation and choosing interesting topics to talk about. Viewers have also picked up on how much Mike looks out for George on the pod, which has shown a caring side to him that wasn't really present in the past. All of these changes have been great for Mike, but not so good for George. The truth is that George is far more sensitive than Mike and is not nearly as well equipped to handle negative feedback. If you got the amount of hate Mike did, in the past, he probably would have crumbled. Although George will never get that amount of backlash, if he continues in the slump, he'll fall out of more and more people's good graces. I'ma be honest as an impulsive fan, I've watched almost all episodes, watched the ones with the vegan and when Mac was co-host, and been watching when George took over the third seat. But lately, the last few and more, George has fallen into a slump. George was wanting to ask a question. Logan interrupted and said, before you go, George, I want to ask this. But then George doesn't go until like five minutes after the fact. Low key, the pod might have grown and blown up to just having Logan and Mike at this point. A third host might not be necessary. I love George, but he's definitely been a statue the last few or more episodes. The following episode released on December 13th took the drama with George to another level. In the Bobby Lee episode, it was George versus a guest. Whereas in this boys only episode, it became George versus Logan. The topic of religion came up, which has happened many times before on the podcast, but this time was different. Logan started attacking George's beliefs in a way that was just uncalled for. He kept referring to how Christianity condemns gay people, and it came across like he was trying to pin that on George, as though he bashes gay people himself. What makes you think I'm going around condemning people? That's what I want to know. Because you always put that on me. You always yell at me about gay people. I, I never once talk about because, gay people. Because you're subscribed to the doctrine that perpetuates that information. You wait, keep wait, bringing up that question. I bash gay people all yeah. the time. When have I ever done that? Bro, that is a staple of your religion. And it's not bashing gay people. It's condemning them but for have what you they as- like. George seems hurt and expressed how poorly Logan treats him when it comes to his religion. But Logan didn't seem to care whatsoever. I know people that hate me, that treat me better about my faith than you. And you're my best friend. I think you're so giant with your words you really don't know what you step on when you say things. Logan went on to question George's emotional intelligence and suggested he seeks a therapist to work on it. When George defended himself and asked him to provide one example of when he lacked emotional intelligence, Logan brought up when George walked off the Bobby Lee episode. Sure. Life. Here's one. Three weeks ago when you were sitting in that chair, you stormed off this exact podcast because you were upset about something a comedian said. Uh, no, I was upset that I finally discussed Listen, I just I was... answered your question. I'm not looking for rationalization about the thing. I just answered your question. Everything Logan was saying seemed like it was coming from a place 
place of malice, despite him saying it was coming from a place of love later in the podcast. Many people felt the exchange showed the size of Logan's ego and how much more intelligent he thinks he is compared to those around him. He seems more concerned with being right than the feelings of one of his best friends. What if you're wrong? I'm not. Oh, he said that. He said that. I said. I'm just not. I said. This was disappointing to see for many fans of the podcast because Logan's behavior showed he hasn't changed quite as much as they thought. Logan really grossed me out in this episode. He was so disrespectful towards George's beliefs. Completely unacceptable behavior in my opinion. George handled this beautifully and Mike is the best for always calling everyone out. The amount of respect I've lost for Logan is crazy. What's sad about this whole situation is that George is a genuine, kind-hearted guy who's clearly having a rough time. He's regularly sidelined by guests, cut off and interrupted by his own co-host, and often made to feel like he's out of place. Inherently, a lot of this comes down to the podcast arrangement, but some of it just comes down to how he's treated by Logan. With that being said, George still has a set role to fill on the show, and lately he's been struggling to do that. So one way or another, he's got to find his feet again, and I for one hope he does.